This is a pufferfish. A species that, as much as I want to believe otherwise, is somehow real. This carnivorous coral dweller consumes crustaceans and is commonly caught around coasts where it crushes and kills creatures to continue its life cycle, I mean cycle. With its bite force being more than five times stronger than a piranha's, it can easily pierce through a crab's armor, and thus probably also you. Tetraodon today, or Puffafalus, are quite possibly the safest species in the sea, having three methods of defense against predators. Their first method is the ELEMENT OF SURPRISE! The pufferfish usually moves slowly and cautiously, however if provoked, can use its tail for an evasive burst of speed, and paired with its high maneuverability, fleeing is a breeze. Their second method of defense is inflation. Boy, that's not a fun time these days. Due to their rubbery stomachs, they can inhale enough water to blow up to two to three times their size, which is around 50 centimeters in length. You know, that was a public pool, by the way. This makes what originally looked like an easy snack a spherical, almost choking hazard. In addition, some species of pufferfish have spines which protrude upon inflation, making it a rather undesirable meal. But that's still not it. Their third method of defense is what we call tetrodotoxin, or TTX for short. It's a poison found in the liver and ovaries of the pufferfish, with traces found in the skin and intestines. While this toxin may not be lethal to a larger predator, such as a shark, if consumed by a human, you may as well dig your own grave and immediately fester. TTX is around 1200 times more lethal than cyanide, and even in small amounts, it can easily hospitalize you, and possibly put you in a coma. Hey guys. Apparently, this isn't stopping the Japanese, because highly skilled chefs have been trained to specifically cut out the poisonous parts of the pufferfish. In fact, pufferfish is considered a delicacy in places like Japan, Korea, and China, because over there, they're just built different. In conclusion, pufferfish are spiky, poisonous, slippery little death balloons, but in the end, man always comes on top of the food chain.